Good morning. Today, we will be doing a review of Lessons 5 through 8. Lesson 5, Abram's Tent Home. Abram had grown old and God promised him a reward for his faithfulness. He said one day his family would own the land of Canaan and his family will be as many as the stars, so many that no one can count them. Hagar, a servant of Sarai, ran away after being punished by her. An angel appeared to Hagar and told her she would have a son and to return home. Abram had a son with Hagar, but it was not the son of God's promise. Question 1. What reward did God promise to Abram if he was faithful? God promised him a son. Question 2. What name did Abram give to Hagar's infant son? Abram named him Ishmael. And question three. Who changed the names of Abram and his wife? And what did their new names mean? God changed their names to Abraham, which means the father of many, and Sarah, which means princess. The memory verse for this lesson is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. Let's go to lesson six. Abraham offers Isaac. God knew how much Abraham loved Isaac. He was the child God promised. Abraham and his son worshiped God. God decided to test him. He asked Abraham to sacrifice his son as an offering. Abraham was obedient to God. He did not understand how God could keep his promise if Isaac was to offer as a sacrifice. God promised that the children of his family would be as many as the stars. Question 1. How did Abraham feel about God's strange request? He felt he should obey God. Question 2. What did Isaac ask his father as they climbed the mountain together? Where is the lamb for the offering? And question three. How did God provide an animal for the offering? He caused a ram to become entangled in the bushes. The memory verse for this lesson is Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 28a and c. Be careful to obey all of these commandments so that it may always go well with you and your children after you. Now let's go to lesson seven. Esau sells his birthright. Isaac married Rebecca and they had twin sons. The older son was different in appearance from the younger son. The older son, Esau, was hairy in appearance and he was a hunter. One day, Esau came home from work very hungry. Esau smelled Jacob's food and wanted some. Jacob told Esau that he would give him all the food if he would sell him his birthright. Esau agreed. Question 1. What were the names of Isaac's two sons? Jacob and Esau. Question 2. What was the birthright? Question 2. What was the birthright? Twice as much inheritance than the other children would receive from the father. And question 3. Did Esau value his birthright? What did he do? Esau did not value his birthright. He sold it for something to eat. The memory verse for this lesson is Psalms 119 verse 173. Stand ready to help me because I have chosen to follow your will. And finally, lesson eight. Isaac blesses Jacob. 
Isaac grew old and blind. He was ready to give the birthright and his blessing to Esau, the oldest twin. Isaac told Esau to go and hunt for a deer, prepare it, and bring the venison for him to eat. After I have eaten, I will bless you. Rebekah and Jacob made a plan to trick Isaac into giving the birthright to Jacob. They disguised Jacob to look like Esau and prepare a meal to taste like venison. Jacob took the meal to Isaac. He was surprised that Esau prepared the meal so quickly. But he gave this blessing to Jacob, believing him to be Esau. Question 1. Why did Rebekah want Jacob to have Isaac's blessing? Jacob was her favorite son. Question 2. Why couldn't Isaac tell Jacob from Esau? Isaac was blind. And question number 3. How was Isaac able to tell Esau from Jacob? He could feel Esau because he was the hairy twin. The memory verse for this lesson is James chapter 2 verse 9. But if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. This concludes today's review.